He's a seven-foot center that's shooting nearly 40% from deep on the season. I'll let that sink in for a minute. Chet Holmgren is lighting up March Madness and is in strong consideration to be the number one pick in the upcoming NBA draft. Now, plenty of attention's been swirling around Chet Holmgren for quite some time now, but as his pending NBA status edges ever closer, more and more people are jumping on the bandwagon. Even more so after his dominant start to March Madness. In the opening contest against Georgia State, Holmgren recorded a huge 19 points, 17 rebounds, 5 assists, and wait for it, 7 blocks. That's right, he swatted 7 shots right out of the sky. Madness! In the second game against Memphis, Holmgren had a quote-unquote quieter outing, putting down a near double-double of 9 points and 9 rebounds, but still rejected 4 shots. Yeah, this was a quiet game for him and he still had 4 blocks. Holmgren's Gonzaga side won both contests, 93-72 and 82-78 respectively, to advance to the Sweet 16 where they will play Arkansas. But get this, Chet Holmgren has been on a tear all season long. Even though he's yet to drain a three-pointer in March Madness, he's shooting 39.2% from beyond the arc on the season. And it's not a small sample size either. He's hitting 1.3 of his three-point shots attempted. There's been 14 occasions where Holmgren has converted. Plus, two shots from deep. A seven-foot stretch big. Yes, please. Wait, he's got flashy handles too? Now this actually is a madness. Holmgren will be a hot commodity come the 2022 NBA draft. Many boards have him right at the top. That's right, we could be looking at the next number one pick. Jabari Smith and Paolo Banchero may have something to say about that, though. But one thing's for sure, whoever ends up with Holmgren will be selecting a future star. What's crazy is that Holmgren was destined for basketball success. In sixth grade, he was already six foot two, as he attended Minnehaha Academy, a private school in Minneapolis. Through high school, the towering big played alongside Jalen Suggs, who now represents the Orlando Magic in the NBA. As a freshman, Holmgren averaged six points and three rebounds as his team won its second straight state championship. Over the years to follow, a huge buzz was growing around the promising prospect. As a sophomore, his averages jumped to 18 points and 11 rebounds. Soon, Holmgren shot up eight more inches. Oh, he was getting big, just like the hype surrounding him. In 2019, he added to this by crossing over Steph Curry at an SC30 select camp. It was on video too, which of course caught national recognition. Holmgren added to this when he recorded 10 rebounds and 12 blocks against Bronny James and Sierra Canyon in January 2020. You heard that correctly, 12 blocks. By Holmgren's senior year, he was averaging 21 points and 12 rebounds, leading his school to their fifth straight state championship. Long story short, he won a host of awards and received circa 30 college scholarship offers. In April 2021, Holmgren signed for Gonzaga University, just like his close friend Jalen Suggs did a year prior. Since, the seven-foot center stock has been rising and rising and will continue to rise depending on the outcome of Gonzaga at March Madness. Either way, Chet Holmgren is going to be a welcomed addition to the NBA. He fits perfectly into the modern game. But let's throw this over to you. Do you think Holmgren goes number one in the 2022 NBA draft? If not, who does? Be sure to let us know your views.